Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing um, a double tutorial on some looks from the Virgin Australia Melbourne Fashion Festival or VAMFF that actually kicked off today. I'm going to be there tomorrow, so I'm flying down to Melbourne tomorrow at 1 o'clock to go to the festival. L'Oreal is the official makeup partner of the show and I'm going to be creating three videos showing you how to take some of the runway looks and apply them in your everyday makeup routine, makeup life, just to show you how to recreate those looks on yourself. It might not be exactly the same as what's on the runway, but I'm going to show you how an everyday girl, that's me, how to, if you were an everyday boy or girl at home, how to recreate the looks from the shows at home. I just hit my finger. So I'm using the exact same L'Oreal products as they used on the models in these tutorials so you can recreate it yourself. I hope you guys really like these videos. Don't forget to tell me which is your favorite out of the two looks. They're really different actually. One is more focused on the eyes and the other is probably more focused on the lips. But let me know what you think in the comments and I hope you guys really like it. So on the first look they used Lumi Magique Primer on the models and this creates a very luminous complexion that I like to wear either on its own or underneath the foundation. I'm just smoothing that in with my fingers and it's very easy to spread around actually. Then this is the Nude Magique Eau de Taint. I'm probably not pronouncing that correctly but the colour I used is 120 Pure Ivory. I'm just buffing that into the skin with a brush. This is a duo fibre brush and it's um, a really nice finish. It's one of those liquid to powder sort of finishes. It's really nice and fresh. I'm just dabbing some extra over any imperfections as a bit of a concealer. I, I don't really like to wear too much stuff on my skin so I just dab a little bit on. Don't need to cover it all perfectly. Then the pencil I'm using because it matches my skin the most is the Color Riche Le Sorcil Eyebrow Pencil in 302 Golden Brown. This is another really nice firm um, pencil that has a spoolie on the end. So you can brush through the brows and then draw, um, draw on the skin. So now I'm going to apply the Color Riche Le Cajal pencil on the inner rim of the eye. And just because this is a smoky eye, this on the rim is going to really intensify the smoky effect to the look, but also really make your eye color stand out because you've got a contrast between the white and the color of your eye with the black. It's a really nice um, effect to include in your smoky eye routine. So I just squinted my eyes and squished them together just to work the product really into the lash line. That's a really good tip when you're doing smoky eyes. Then onto the eyeshadow. This is one of my favorite palettes. Um, I have all the other colors of this, but the one that they used on the models today was the Rose Memories E6 palette. So I just used one of the lighter shades through the socket so that when I blend the darker color, it really um, blends a lot easier and sits against the skin really well. So as you can see, it's blending really easily. I'm using a really soft blending brush to apply that through the socket and going backwards and forwards in windscreen wiper motions to really blend it out and then just using the same big brush I want it to be really soft apply that under the eye this is another product that I have a lot of these are the infallible eyeshadows if you own them you know that they're really good this one's called endless chocolate and I'm applying that to the eyelid just in patting motions with a flat shader brush this is sort of going to transition the eye look from the black coal around the rim of the eye up to the uh, maroon that we've got in the socket. And if you need to clean up around the eye area, just take a foundation brush with some of your foundation on it and swipe it around the eye look to really neaten it up. Now going back with the highlight shade in the palette on the applicator, I'm using that just under the brow bone. So sort of it drags down the darker shade I've got through the socket a little bit because I felt like I blended up a little bit too high. I just want to keep it contained a little bit more. Then it's time for mascara and this is the False Lash Butterfly Wings Effect Mascara. And this has little fibers in it so it makes your lashes really long. I like to focus it on the outside actually so that you get that um, winged effect which is very hot right now. So I'm applying that to my top and bottom lashes. Then to set my makeup, I'm using the Nude Magique BB Powder. I'm doing this now because I've cleaned up under my eye. I didn't do it before the eye shadow because I wanted to wait till I got all my foundation the way I wanted it and then set it with this so I'm ready to apply the blush. The blush is L'Oreal Le Blush in number 145 Rosewood. 
I'm using a fan brush and I did a few layers of it so that's it layered up and onto lips they kept it very very basic which I love with an intense eye like this this is the L'Oreal Paris Glam Shine gloss in clear and I don't know if you saw it in my last video but I've been using it all the time it's an amazing gloss and that's it that's the finished look I hope you get a chance to recreate this at home and if you want to have the complete look pair it with number 102 Macaroon Noisette Color Re Chanel Polish Alrighty, we're on to the second look. This is the Base Magique base, and this is the one that fills in your pores. It's really good for people that maybe have acne or scarring or large pores like myself. Even older people, I think, if you've got some fine lines, should fill those in really well. Then the foundation that they used on the model is the Infallible Makeup, and this is the one that lasts for 18 hours. I used the color Nude Beige 605, but I think I probably should have gone a shade or two darker, but it's okay because this is a dark lip um, for this look, so I think it's going to work well with a paler skin. This time the brows were done with the L'Oreal Brow Artist Super Liner, and I used the color 02 Blonde. It's a really nice firm pencil again. It's got a spoolie on the end, which makes it very easy to use. This one's the perfect color for me, actually. To soften up the look to the brows, you can take your foundation brush and just quickly run it through. Or if you make a mistake, you can do that. Quickly run it over the brows and then go back. And I like to keep the head of the brow very, very natural looking. To set the foundation, because I'm not using coloured eyeshadow on my eyes, it's totally fine to set now before I move on to them. This is the Infallible Makeup Long Lasting Creamy Powder Foundation. So this one's going to provide me some coverage as well as set the foundation. Then they just applied a little bit of a wash of eyeshadow, a shimmery colour. This is the Hourglass Beige in the Infallible Iridescent Finish eyeshadow. So this is like a glassy finish. It's a really cool product. Just dusting that over the lid and then we're going to do a nice subtle wing after this. To create the winged eye, I'm using the Color Riche Smoky Taupe Eye Color Pencil. So I'm running that over the half, sorry, the outside half of my top lash line and then also into the lower lash line. And then I'm just using that sort of roughly because I'm going to take an eyeliner brush with some of the product on it. I wiped it over the crayon to get some product. But use it also to spread out the product you've got already there and create a really nice sharp point to your wings. Then if you need to clean up even further and make the point really pointy, <laughs> you can use um, like a little concealer brush or lip brush or eyeliner brush that's clean and apply some of your foundation just along the rim of it and as you can see it's made that really sharp. Top off with the False Lash Butterfly Wings Mascara. I focus again on the outside um, and I make sure that the thickest part of the wand is where the outside of my lashes are, which is sort of what naturally happens when you use it properly, but anyway. As you can see, it really helps that wing effect to the eye. And top and bottom lashes, as I said. And I did two coats, so as you can see, this mascara really works well for me. I actually love it, so it's a good one, as you can see. And that's the finished eye look. Now moving on to the rest of my face. This is the Rosewood Blush number 145 Le Blush and I'm using a bigger brush for this time just because I want a bit more colour for some reason. Felt like it. And then on the lips we're using an amazing lip colour. This is what I was wearing at the start of the video as well. It's the Brunette Intense number 374 Intense Plum from the Colour Riche collection and I'm just applying it in the center of the lips and then dabbing it out because in the inspiration photo it actually looked like it was very soft around the edge of the lips which I thought was a really unique way to wear it. I'm layering that up oh <laughs> I'm layering that up so that it's nice and um, strong and then dabbing it out again. So this is a nice soft look. Just keep working at it. And then if you need to clean it up and you accidentally bust it out of the lines when you're doing the dabbing, just take some more concealer on a brush and clean it up that way. And that's the finished look. The nails that they had with it were a really nice mint colour. 
the color is Pearl de Jade number 602 and then they also use the nail polish 842 which is sequin explosion I just applied it on a feature nail I love how this sort of complements or is almost a contrast to the type of makeup it is so yeah I really like that but I thought I would try it with a bit of a stronger lip just to see how it looks you can decide which one you like better but god this lip color is so divine I really love it Make sure you guys let me know which was your favorite look out of the first look and the second look. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for the next ones. Bye.